Welcome. All right, so what I'd like to do is just kind of go over a basic little introduction of what is collinear and what is coplanar. Um, so when we're talking about collinear, basically what we mean is um, comb kind of means you know bringing in them together. Pretty much what it means is two points that are on the same line. So let's just kind of uh, let's do an example here. So if I make up a line and let's call this point A, point B, we can say that points A and B are collinear because they lie on the same line. And let's say I give it a third point. Well, since the third point is also on the line, a, um, points A, B, and C are all collinear. However, if I put a point over here, you can obviously see that point D is not on the line. So therefore, point D is non-collinear or not collinear with these other points. I could also draw another intersecting line. And let's call this point E. So you can say that. Um, Still, A, C, and B, those are all collinear points, right? They all lie on the same line. However, point E is not collinear, does not lay on, lie on the same line. It, it lies on the same line with E and C. We could say those are collinear, but it is not collinear with A, C, and B, as well as the same thing with D, because that's not on any line. So obviously, it's not on the same line. Um, when we're looking at coplanar, and I like to. I like getting with coplanar because it's always very difficult to understand kind of graphing a flat surface that extends indefinitely. So coplanar is just going to be any points, again, that lie on the same line. So let's call this A, B, and C. So, I'm sorry, not lie on the same line, lie on the same plane. So since these points all lie on the same plane, let's call this plane P, then they are coplanar, right? Just like collinear, they lie on the same plane, so they're coplanar. So then obviously, if I kind of have a point that's off of this, um, let's call this x, you can see that x is non-coplanar or not coplanar with the other points. Uh, I'm going to try to do my best here. And what if we had another plane? Uh, actually, hold on. Before I even get to that point, I forgot to mention as far as lines. So I could also have coplanar lines. So you can see that the lines AB and the line CB both all lie on the plane. However, if I was going to you know, think about if we have a flat surface and I was to shoot a line going straight up, which I'll try to represent like this, so this line is going perpendicular from the plane. Um, therefore, the point still lies on the plane. However, the line does not lie on the plane. So therefore, that is non-coplanar. Um, these lines are non-coplanar. And you could also, what I was trying to do, was draw a plane that rather than having a line that goes perpendicular, you could also have planes that are perpendicular to each other. And let's say, again, I had another point y or even a line zy. So since zy is on a plane, which we'll call this plane m, and I know this looks really confusing, um, but if we had the plane m, which is perpendicular to plane p, the only, the only point that is coplanar is c, because, well, the only point that they have in common is c. So therefore, the line that goes through c, the line um, cd, which is on the plane m, but it's not on the plane p. So therefore, this line is not coplanar with these two lines. And if I, or you could either say zy is not coplanar because it doesn't lie on the same plane. Same thing with the points. Since these points are on plane M, but they're not on plane, plane P, they are not coplanar with these three other points. So again, just to write a review, collinear is when you have points that are on the same line. Coplanar is when you have points or lines that all lie on the same plane. And if they are not collinear, they're non-collinear. If they're not coplanar, they are non-coplanar. Thanks.